Hey guys and girls, Chris here, and welcome back. Today we will break down complex tech into bite-sized, wallet-friendly advice. Today's video is absolutely packed with everything you need to know about the best 3D printers of 2025. Chances are, you clicked this video as you are thinking of getting a 3D printer, or wanting to know more, then you're in the right place. You will find the perfect printer here that will meet your budget, as I plan to cover all budgets with the best so far in 2025. Quick disclaimer, all products mentioned in this video are linked in the description below with the best prices I could find, and I will update if anything changes. I want you to get the best deal possible. Now, let's dive into the 5 absolute best 3D printers of 2025 that cover every budget range imaginable. So first up we have the Prusa MK4S. The Prusa MK4S takes everything that made previous Prusa models legendary and cranks it up to 11. What makes the Prusa special is its incredible reliability. Seriously, this thing will keep printing when other machines have given up and joined a monastery. The new 32-bit board makes slicing calculations faster than my brain after three espressos. The standout feature has to be the new smart material detection system that uses a combination of sensors to identify exactly what filament you're using. Accidentally loaded PETG instead of PLA. The printer will actually warn you before you create a modern art masterpiece that you didn't intend. But you'll still want to double check what you've loaded. No filament wizardry just yet. Who is this for? If you're an intermediate user who values reliability over flashy features and doesn't mind spending a Saturday on assembly or paying extra for the pre-assembled version, this is your new best friend. And the specs uses FDM print technology, fused deposition modeling, has a build volume of 250 by 210 by 220 millimeters, layer resolution of 0.05 to 0.35 millimeters, print speed up to 200 millimeters per second, being a practical speed, nozzle temperature up to 300 degrees Celsius, bed temperature up to 120 degrees Celsius, connectivity, USB, Ethernet, and Wi-Fi, filament, compatibility, PLA, PETG, ABS, ASA, TPU, PC, PP, nylon, carbon fiber composites, and the features, automatic mesh bed leveling. Now this is a must. Filament runout sensor, power loss recovery, removable magnetic PEI spring steel sheet, the downsides? The assembly process feels longer than waiting for that last 1% of a 20-hour print. And while the build volume is decent, it won't let you print life-size replicas of your head, which is probably for the best if we're being honest. Next up at number 4, the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon with AMS2 Pro. The Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon isn't just a printer. It's what happens when speed demons and precision enthusiasts create a 3D printing love child. The carbon fiber frame isn't just marketing hype, it practically eliminates vibrations at high speeds. I printed a vase at 350 millimeters per second that came out so smooth you could see the shine. The most impressive feature? With the AMS Automatic Material System, it can print up to four different filaments seamlessly without manual swapping. I printed a topographical map with four different colors that looked so professional my geography teacher from high school called to apologize. The AI camera monitoring deserves its own paragraph. It can detect print failures before they become print disasters, saving you material and preventing that special kind of heartbreak that comes from returning to a 30-hour print that failed at hour 29, and if you know, you know that's a tough one to swallow. This is going to be best for tech enthusiasts who want professional quality results without waiting until retirement age for prints to finish. Also ideal for small businesses doing rapid prototyping. And the key specs. FDM with Core XY Kinematics, print technology, build volume of 256 square millimeters, layer resolution 0.04 to 0.28 millimeters, print speed up to 500 millimeters per second. Practical speed is around 350 millimeters per second. Nozzle temps up to 320 degrees Celsius. Bed temps up to 120 degrees Celsius. Connectivity, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, USB-C, and cloud-enabled. 
can print using PLA, PETG, ABS, ASA, TPU, PC, nylon, carbon fiber composites. Semi-enclosed enclosure with HEPA filter. Features multi-material capability, up to four materials. AI print monitoring with failure detection, carbon fiber frame for stability, automatic bed leveling with 49 point mapping. Now that's cool. But the catch? The proprietary slicer software has a steep learning curve, so bear this in mind if you're not so savvy with slicers. And you'll need to dedicate some serious desk space. This isn't exactly a compact machine. And now at number 3 we have the Creality Ender 3V3KE. At the budget-friendly end of the spectrum, the Creality Ender 3V3 proves that affordable doesn't have to mean constantly frustrating. It's wild how much value you get. The new UI and Creality OS are actually user-friendly, and automatic leveling means no more leveling hell. The improved user interface makes setup actually intuitive, which is shocking for a budget printer. Remember when budget printers had interfaces that looked like they were designed by someone who hated humanity? Those days are gone. This printer is perfect for beginners, students, the budget conscious, or anyone who wants to dip their toes into 3D printing without diving into the deep end financially. The key specs are FDM print technology, build volume of 220 by 220 by 240 millimeters, Layer resolution 0.1 to 0.4 millimeters. Print speed up to 500 millimeters per second. Practical speed is around 300 millimeters per second. Nozzle temp up to 260 degrees Celsius. Bed temp up to 100 degrees Celsius. Connectivity, USB-C, microSD, Wi-Fi, and Creality Cloud. Can print using PLA, PETG, TPU with some tuning. Features fully automatic leveling with CR touch, dual Z axis, 4.3 inch touchscreen, silent stepper drivers, the limitations. It's still louder than my neighbor's kid's drum practice, and the build volume won't let you print anything massive. Plus, while it can technically handle TPU, getting good results with flexible filaments requires the patience of a saint and the troubleshooting skills of a NASA engineer. So now at number two, we have the Ultimaker S7 Pro. The Ultimaker S7 Pro is what happens when engineers are given an unlimited budget and told to create the perfect workhorse 3D printer for professionals. So yes, it's an expensive one. The dual extrusion system with water-soluble supports allows you to print geometries that would make Escher scratch his head. You could print a fully articulated octopus with internal moving parts and would come out so perfect it would look injection molded. What really separates the S7 Pro from the competition is the comprehensive ecosystem. The Ultimaker Cura software integration is seamless and the remote management system lets you control an entire print farm from anywhere with internet. You could literally start a print from a coffee shop, which feels like living in the future. The enclosed chamber with HEPA and carbon filtration isn't just a luxury. It's a necessity if you're printing with ABS or other technical materials in a shared space. No more toxic fume headaches or complaints from coworkers about that plastic burning smell. This printer is designed for professional environments, engineering firms, product design studios, medical applications, and educational institutions with serious budgets. And the key specs, FDM print technology with dual extrusion. Build volume of 330 by 240 by 300 millimeters. Layer, resolution 0.02 to 0.2 millimeters. Print speeds up to 300 millimeters per second. Optimal quality at 80 to 120 millimeters per second. Nozzle temp up to 280 degrees Celsius. Bed temp up to 140 degrees Celsius. Connectivity, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, USB and cloud fleet management. Can print using PLA, ABS, CPE, CPE+, PC, Nylon, TPU, PP, PVA, Soluble Support, Breakaway Supports. Fully enclosed with activated carbon and HEPA filtration. Features dual extrusion with soluble supports, automated material handling system, advanced flow sensor, 
capacitive and optical sensors for bed leveling, camera monitoring, intuitive touchscreen, and the obvious downside? That 4500 price tag will have your wife asking some very pointed questions. But for professional applications, the precision, reliability, and time savings quickly justify the investment. And now last up at number one, we have the Formlabs Form 4. At the premium end of our lineup, the Formlabs Form 4 showcases what's possible when price is no object and precision is everything. The level of detail this printer achieves will literally have you reaching for a magnifying glass. Printing architectural models with features so fine, 0.025 millimeters, they're barely visible to the human eye. It's like witchcraft, but with lasers instead of spells. The new adaptable resin system is a game changer for specialized applications. You can switch between standard resins for prototyping, biocompatible resins for medical applications, or castable resins for jewelry production, all within the same machine. The integrated post-processing station automates the messiest part of resin printing. Your print finishes, and then washing and curing happen without you having to touch anything. It's like having a tiny 3D printing factory that never complains about working overtime. Perfect for dental labs, jewelry designers, medical device manufacturers, high-precision engineering firms, and anyone who values detail over everything else. And the key specs for this mammoth. SLA, low force stereolithography, print technology, build volume of 200 by 140 by 300 millimeters, layer resolution, 0.025 to 0.3 millimeters, 25 to 300 microns. Print speed is variable based on resin, 50 to 70 millimeters per hour vertical build rate. Light source is a custom designed 250 milliwatt laser. Resin temperature, automatically heated to optimal 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. Connectivity, Wi-Fi, Ethernet and USB. Material compatibility, standard, engineering, dental, medical, flexible, castable, ceramic filled resins. Features are automated resin dispensing, integrated wash and cure station, touchscreen interface, remote monitoring, automated calibration. The drawbacks? Besides the eye-watering price tag, resin costs significantly more than filament, about $149 to $249 per liter depending on the type. And despite the improvements in ventilation, you'll still want dedicated space with good airflow for this beauty. And there you have it, folks. Five incredible 3D printers that cover every budget and use case imaginable in 2025. From the budget-friendly Ender 3v3 to the detail-obsessed Form 4, there's truly never been a better time to dive into 3D printing. If you found this video helpful, do your future self a favor and smash that subscribe button. We've got tons more in-depth tech reviews coming your way faster than a bamboo lab at maximum speed settings. Drop a comment letting me know which printer caught your eye or what amazing things you're planning to create. And don't forget, all these printers are linked in the description below with the best current prices. Until next time, keep creating and stay awesome.